Welcome to Nesbitt's annual Family and Community Science Night, where we host all of Nesbitt's friends and family in a bunch of science station for our science night. So come on and join me with, see all the fun we're having. Over here, we are building our mascot. Our mascot is a stick figure athlete where we are building a little stick man out of pipe cleaners. There we go. Okay, this is our first ever student run station and Violet Braley and Tyler DeCourcy created a station about some of the things they learned. Can you tell me about your station? It's showing why smoking is so bad for athletes and it shows you what happens when you're under the influence and why it is so dangerous if you're an athlete to be doing things like this. And we have the goggles that show that and you're trying to do different activities um, with the goggles like kicking the ball that you would with activities <laughs> and sports that you do. Welcome to our bobsled course design station where the students are using physics ideas of potential and kinetic energy and they're building a Rube Goldberg type of device where they're going to get their marble to travel down the race course as if it was a bobsled for the Olympics. Okay, whose favorite sport is basketball? Woo! We are making a basketball game using physics. Show me your basketball. So this is a great addition to our science night. This is the Belmont City Library and our community partners who have brought their Sphero bots and created an obstacle course to celebrate Olympics. And the students get to use the iPads to drive their Sphero bots. Here's another station uh, supported by our NG community group. They are a, a group that helps uh, the district with our solar energy. And what they helped us with is creating these sun-changing UV light bead bracelets. And so they get to create, and when they shine it in the UV light, it changes color. This is a, a great thing to learn about sun protection. Okay, here we have an experiment with magnetism and underneath the board there are magnets and they're driving their little hockey players in a hockey puck with some made up snow and we're practicing the science of magnetism. Okay, our Winter Olympics are famous for snowboarding and skiing and here we are creating snowboards and skis to test on our ski ramp and we are using our little stick figures as our mascot to ride on our snowboards and skis. Hi, what's your name? Sylvie. Hi Sylvie. Tell me about your project here. Well, I was just helping them make this project. It's um, about trying to stop food waste. And what program, what are you doing at school? Um, we're donating food, that hot lunch that doesn't get eaten to Samaritan House. At Science Night, we love to display our students' work. And on these tables, you will see uh, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade science projects. So we have a variety of projects that students worked on. We have an engineering STEM project where students built um, things based on different themes in our curriculum. And then our seventh graders built earthquake towers out of straws and tape and tested them on a wild and crazy shake table. And our eighth graders just finished a project building water bottle rockets where they tested the physics and forces of launching uh, water bottle rockets out of a launcher at recess and lunchtime. Okay, here we have a station um, based on skateboarding. And so here is where they have potential energy at the top of the ramp and kinetic moving energy at the bottom ramp. And they're testing what happens when they go straight or up and down hills. And it looks like you guys are having a lot of fun. Are you guys having fun? Yes. Okay, here's Loti, one of our middle school students, is going to explain this uh, station. Uh, so this is build a boat racing. And so what, the first thing we're doing, we're going to ask them what color they want. Make a fold it in half, he's going to poke his stick through, and then he's going to put it onto his boat, open it up a little, put it onto his boat, and then over here we have the station, 
and we have water uh, sprayers and we're, he'll put it into the boat and it'll spray with water and it, it'll move uh, with the water. Okay, welcome to our chemistry station. This is where they are building winter snow. We are using two ingredients. This is conditioner and baking soda. Couldn't get much easier than that. But once they make and mix their snow concoction, then they get some snowman parts to make a snowman. This is a, another measuring station where the students are making what we're going to call strength training spheres, but secretly, it's a stress ball. So the students make two layers of an ingredients using flour, sand, or rice to make their squish ball. Okay, here we have a station using the science of chromatography. So we use markers and isopropyl alcohol, and it creates like a tie-dye. And of course, to go with our Olympics themes, we are making flags from around the country. Okay, what did you just make? Rocket. A rocket. A rocket. And what did you put? What are those called? Spin. All right. And are you going to go launch it at the launcher? Okay. Okay, here we have the second half of our launching of our rockets. We're going to call this archery, which is one of the sports in the Olympics. So these launchers have compression, air compression inside. All right, Christian, let's see what you got. your turn. All right, we are cycling for slushies right here. Go faster, faster. And here we're going to make free slushies for the kids using our bicycle blender. Tell me about the robotics team at Nesbitt. So the robotics team at the time, they there's different teams from different grades. They all get together and build a robot, and then they practice it during the sessions and also use it during the competition. I'm just teaching them how to drive the robot. So you see all those green cubes down there? They, we're having them use the robot to pick them up and put them in those stuff. I can make your hands clap. I can make your hands clap. 